Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 16 matchup. Game number two between Jonesy and Diamed. Oh, well, Diamed and Jonesy actually. <laughs> um, very interestingly, Jonesy won Diamed's group and now they're in a rematch here. Diamed won the first game and uh, it is Necro versus Dark Elves, very similar to my game versus Andy in the round of 16. I, this looks obviously pretty um, pretty hard to tell who's who here, even though of course Dark Elves don't look like Necros. As far as the colours go, it's pretty difficult, so we're going to go with red and blue to make it a little bit easier. I can tell you Jonesy is German, qualified from DBBL, and his team is tribute to DBBL. Whereas Diamed is Russian, qualified through the Season 4 official playoffs, but his team is like World of Rue BBL, because of course he's in there. So there you go. Um, Diamed has won the toss, chosen to receive. So let's get straight into it. And you see the four guard, which is pretty standard. And then the three positionals is standard. But what isn't standard is that two of them are ghouls instead of only one. He only has one wolf. Um, not a big fan of that, but it does mean he's got 13 players, which will help in overtime and versus stuff like Heat, which, uh, you know, killed Jonesy in the first game. Any chance he had. Jonesy has um, the four blitzers, two witches, and a runner. With, oh, I guess he got an extra reroll there. Two rerolls and an apple. Leader runner. Three dodge blitzes is normal, a wrestle witch is normal, but rather than a rather than a second wrestle witch or a block witch, he's taken a tackle blitzer. Do not like the tackle blitzer. And there uh, we've got a fail pickup here from Diamed. And no real weakness for Jonesy to attack. So, I don't hate the going quite heavy on the line here, and removal as well. I, so now you've got base everything, right? And then just hope that next turn you get something. Okay, I don't like moving these through. I'd want, I'd want these guys moving, well, I guess you can't base with a leader. I'd have wanted another, another one based. You just gotta go you gotta go straight for the jugular here. So like this this Wraith could have been based as well, right? By that witch elf. Gets the POW, thanks to Frenzy. And a Kaz, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my god, did he get it because of Claws? He got the break from Claws as well. So it's a badly hurt, but um, Apple works. Obviously Apple comes in, so Apple better than reserve this game. Yeah, Ghoul's somewhat exposed here. And there's a, there's a route through now, isn't it, next turn for Jonesy, so... Now Jonesy needs to, com to commit to this and get everything through this gap. I don't think he's driving at all, I think he's pouring through this, this gap here. I say pouring through, he hasn't got many players, but... He is going through this guy. Or that guy. So he should have come through more, right? The, the, the witch elf could have come through, the lineman could have come through. I think everything had to come through there. Or like blitz this wraith and uh, re-roll a foul appearance on him, power him, and then you could have got three more players through, right? I just think he had to come really hard. Is his really only chance was getting, you know, stopping in the backfield here. He hasn't stopped in the backfield. And now it's looking 
a bit rubbish for Jonesy. I mean, not terrible, right? Like, diamonds down a zombie with two others base, but so it's 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 not a hundred percent secure for diamond yet. But it looks a lot worse than having the ball in a cage, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Yeah, lots of AV breaks both sides. Could have rerolled this. Honestly, could have rerolled that with four. Like I don't know what he's gonna use his rerolls on. <laughs> this half. I think last turn was the turn to like you know put in the rerolls and just get like four more players through. Really, really stop. Do you know do his absolute level best. To stop Diamond reconnecting to his cage. And it's not a nice thing to have to do, right? It's not a nice thing to have to admit to yourself that you're the underdog. But also, like, he's lost the first game as well, right? He's also lost the first game. Diamond just needs to draw this. So, you know, you have to turn him over, basically. Right? I mean, you can technically stop him scoring and win 1 0. But it's so hard that, like, you know, scoring on his drive is, is so good that I would have rolled the extra dice and stuff to, to try and make it happen there. Gets the power. This isn't doing anything, is it? <laughs> really? It's getting your blitzer hit with claw. I guess it's turn four. Maybe it's doing. Maybe it's doing something. gets to hit the wolf now. So it has done something, I take it back. Errata, errata. Be very careful with the guards, isn't it? Diamond, turn five. You know, maybe you can stop him getting the skull. Maybe, maybe actually, right? Maybe. Maybe, it's turn five. Problem is, he's got most of his players back up. Maybe you can like dodge. Maybe, maybe you just. It seems horrible to dodge away from a wolf instead of punching it, doesn't it? Maybe you can dodge, blitz this guy, come back in front. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players, kind of screen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe, maybe you can screen this. Maybe you can screen this and hold him off because he isn't, he's in his own half still. So maybe you can screen this. Oh my god, well, there you go, that's why you, that's why you make that hit. <laughs> Regens it. Like you have to, you basically have to hit the wall. <laughs> But maybe he could have screened. Maybe he still can screen, but it seems harder with like, you know, less players, right? Like there's three players behind the ball. Diamond has to get forward. Not getting forward yet. It's a full pow. Diamond isn't scoring here after all. Maybe, maybe it has worked out for him. Ah. Right, 
it all works out. <laughs> and that stun works out. So now he's got six players to screen. Which doesn't seem quite enough, does it? Oh, and he's still behind. You, you can't have a player behind the ball, I don't think. Like, I get it, right? I get that he wants to stop the brakes moving and stuff. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Keep the witch back. Maybe it'll work. Ooh, I think he had to stay forward, though. I think he had to stay forward. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't, do not like that. I just needed the push, right, to get the wraith off. Makes a rush. Man, if this guy was, like, in the way... It would have been a lot better than nowhere. Just needed that guy in this area. Oh my god, just all the dice rolls this turn, a million rushes. Dodges in. Oh my god! Gets the double pushes! But it's still in range, so wow. Wow. Incredible. Incredible that he didn't cancel this assist. But um, still got the double pushes. Yes, that was why. Had to do the million, the million rushes. Wow. Man, Im imagine if he'd put the runner in, like, somewhere instead of just running away with him. So now, yeah, I've quit him and chain it. Give it chain. Still a dodge, though. A dodge is scary. Is there a way to hit this? Not really. No, got a dodge. Make the dodge. Rush. Last reroll. Flip me. That chain might have made the difference, might not. Wow. Wow, very hairy score there in the end. For Diamond. Good effort from Jonesy. Nearly got him. Now it's really hard, because now he's got to just try and score quickly on his own offence and then try and turn him over and score again. So now it's really grim for Jonesy. Not even close to failing. Yeah, the leader going back was the killer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had to not go back with the leader there. 100%. 100% mistake to go back with the leader. It just didn't do anything. It didn't... And it was doing something. Like, he took it away from doing something to do nothing, right? Which is a really bad thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> like at least if it was you know nowhere before then um it wouldn't be so bad right uh, isolate some women and not all in on the car mm -hmm, well Interesting, wasn't it? I mean, he did do really well. This is this is a hard matchup for the uh, Delves. but it can get tricky for the for the. It can get tricky for the Necro as well, right? If they don't break through like they didn't.
I like how he's, <laughs> he's made the breakthrough with a movement six player. <laughs> Go with a movement six fella, let's go. <laughs> I know it was just unlucky that you know that was his plan and then it happened to be the guy who was gonna score that got hit and he couldn't really change because of how he'd set up, but it's funny, isn't it? The movement six guy trying to score. Same as first half, runs into the opposing half, gets clawed, doesn't get removed. This is like so much harder than it would be for Wood Elves, isn't it? Because the Elves are so slow, this is the problem. The game that they have to win is just so much harder than the Elves having the Wood Elves having to win. Like you can't do this. Sorry, Jonesy. You can't do this. You have like it's hard, but you just have to do dumb stuff like this. Like you you can't vod have back cage corners. You just can't. You're not gonna you're not gonna score by having back cage corners, right? Like you have to have a screen and you have to roll a ton of dice. You have to score early, you, you just draw your out. Diamond's loving this, he just doesn't have to defend hardly at all, right? Doesn't have to put any pressure on at all, he can just do all cover. Necros are very annoying to attack against. They're just annoying to do everything against. They're a really good team. Yeah, this is like, this is... He didn't have to worry about anything as well. Like, if he'd got those free hits and had to worry about something... Which, like, maybe he would have done if instead of this one, you know, if this was out here, then could have run around and, like, got a sideline cage or something, but instead... Go back cage corners, which is not good. Foul appearance. Okay, so we get the two plus through here. So maybe it was a good idea because he's managed to get through. He's not in range though. So he's going to have to hand off next turn. Diamond has to blitz one of these two, right? Can't blitz them both. Blitzes this guy. It's a removal. So the only concern is this fella. The move busted scoring threat. So good, just putting sides like foul appearance is so good. It's just literally so good. This isn't so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, handoff. Okay, that makes it a little bit harder. She doesn't have she doesn't have block or anything. So you blitz this one. So you can assist here. Okay, I'll blitz that way. So just make a million twos and hand off to this guy. Who scores. Or screen him. Yeah, I guess screen him is. It costs you another turn though, doesn't it? 
Like a 4 plus handoff sucks. A 4 plus handoff completely sucks. But losing another turn also sucks. And not scoring at all sucks. Which there's a chance here because he's going to hit you with a wrestle. Rush, double rush. Interesting. Couldn't the other? Wasn't the other wraith closer? Gets the dodge off. Gets the two D. Doesn't re-roll. Doesn't does re-roll that, but double wand it. Three twos it, Bosch. No messing about. So three turns to turn over the Necro or you're out. Down to nine players. Oh god, I hope I don't get in this position. <laughs> it's pretty rough, isn't it? Oh my goodness, this is pretty rough. He's just giving away free serves. so hard. It's so hard. Takes the surf. Bob's your uncle. Which isn't ideal, right? Leaving this guy in contact. Doesn't need to reroll the pickup. Probably would have done, I think. Two through, and he's gonna have to do it on the other side. He's got it already on the other side with this guy, but he hasn't got dodge, has he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, last reroll gone into snakes. Wait, no, he didn't reroll it. Okay, he didn't reroll it. Basically, have the cage instantly. I wonder if he'll put a guy here, right? Put the wolf there in case this is quads. <laughs> it's probably not worth it, is it? Because, like, you know, this could have been quads, but the wolf there would have protected against quads. The problem is, it's better not having the wolf there, it's better blitzing with the wolf. Or putting it in there. Mm. So actually, maybe, maybe. Well, I mean, this was protected now. Maybe it was worth protecting against the quads. I mean, I know quads is a one in thirteen hundred chance of happening, <laughs> more or less, but um. If it's the only way you lose the game, maybe you should protect against it. Oh my god, he got the 6 plus dodge in. He's got the pushes. Into not. So we had two chances of a 1 in 36, or three chances of a 1 in 36 power. Didn't get them. And... Now there's probably no protection against a, a quad score, right? Now if you just get a quad score... You're just unlucky here. I mean, he, I guess he can't have like a guard, guards around the ball. First actions. Get the guards in. It's the 
power of the wolf. Man. The absolute stress of these games is pretty insane to be honest. So Oh yes, a Ray Foul, the lesser spotted Ray Foul. It's it's turn sixteen. It's turn sixteen. Fails the dodge. And that is that. Diomed becomes the first player through to the quarterfinals with a 2-1 win and a 1-1 draw. Congratulations to Diomed. We will be facing Sergo or Niaga in the quarterfinals in the weekend of the 6th, 7th and 8th of December. He's got at least 400 euros. Massive congratulations to him. Commiserations to Jonesy. You know, Jonesy got a draw in the fair game. And he just got screwed out of it by hitting the first game. So, you know, really unfortunate for, for Jonesy there. But, you know, I, I think maybe Diamond's the best player in this whole competition. And he has, booked his he has booked his spot in the quarterfinals. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.